friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited, you guys. I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So this goes without saying, um, I now have absolutely no help. Um, I was having a friend help me with a few edits here and there. Um, but he ended up getting a new job, so I am back to doing everything myself. So I'm gonna do my best not to edit this video. Um, I also have some really fun and exciting news for you guys. Um, so we'll get into that in just a little bit. I'm just gonna dive right into this haul. I am in my new bedroom at the new house. I don't know how this is gonna go, if this will go up first. I'm thinking I'm gonna put up the updated house tour, um, just the progress so far. We're really close to moving in, and so I figured that I would take you guys along and see what we've done so far, but not this video, this is a Dollar Tree haul. I have another Dollar Tree haul coming out before this, and I just went to a different store today, and they had totally different stuff out. So, as always, they always have amazing signs now. Like, I'm sorry guys, this hair is just really driving me nuts. And they're really stepping up their game with signs, I'm just blown away. You literally don't have to do anything to these. However, they would be super cute if you do as well. So let's just start off. Look at that blue, oh my goodness, the farmer's market. I mean, they literally hit every bullet point. Uh, the frame, the baby blue, baby blue buffalo check for Easter, the background with the shiplap, and then just like different fonts. It's gorgeous. It says Cottontail Farms Annual Easter Market Bunny Trails and Carrots, Bunny Trails, Carrots and Candy, Bunny Parking in the Back. Literally, you guys, how cute. And then they also have the black and white buffalo check, cotton tails, pick your own carrot patch. I mean, how? I just, I, like I'm looking at it in my viewfinder and it's just gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. So I only picked up one of each. I'm being, I'm trying to be really good, you guys. The next set of signs, I've never seen anything like this before. So we have the, um, Cottontail Co. with the Easter Egg and the Easter Egg Farm, or the Easter Egg Bunny, I meant. You have the Hippity Hops Carrot Patch. I mean, really? And then this one, oh my God. Pick your own carrot patch with the truck. Fruits, herbs, vegetables, like, what is that, you guys? Like, how gorgeous. And then to top it off, this is why I'm telling you guys the dollar twenty-five or the twenty-five cent increase is not that big of a deal. They're getting much better items, heftier, heavier, like better quality. Now, I mean, this isn't. It's two signs glued together. If you can see that, I don't know if you can tell. Here's the second sign, and it has burlap in the back on the first sign and then this is glued, which I think looks amazing. It's kind of like the reverse frame, if you will. So for $1.25, I would pay that any day. Let me do this little, it's hard to hold this stuff. Like, can you guys see that? Gorgeous. Okay, so I only picked up one of each of those. I picked up one of these. Now, I personally would redo this, but I thought it was super cute. It has good bones. Look how cute the little um, puffs are. You could pull those off, paint it, whatever, and then put the puffs back on, save it for a different project. Totally up to you. Picked up one of those. 
if you guys would stop and do me a huge favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel to grow and helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And I'm just grabbing at random. There's no... I'm trying to be really good at Dollar Tree, you guys, because I don't have the room for this stuff. And I do not want to junk up my new house. Like, I can't. In my old house right now, you guys, the Dollar Tree nightmare is just that, a nightmare. And I, I mentally, I mentally can't do it anymore. So I do not want to junk this house up, so. Okay guys, editing me here, I totally, I totally forgot to fill you guys in on my huge news. My husband was outside and he had a coworker with him and I was trying to rush to get the Dollar Tree haul done. So I totally forgot to fill you guys in on our huge news. Now I wish I had a cute little clip and like an exciting video to show you guys like most people do. However, my first thought is not to pull out a camera when like these things go on. So it just happened so fast that I did not capture anything. And I have a video coming up that you guys are clearly going to be able to see it anyway. So I figured that I just had to spill the beans that we are expecting baby number four, technically baby number three, but I consider my stepson mine. So we are expecting baby number four in October. And you guys, like I'm literally shaking because Okay, the way that it happened, I'm just gonna like talk to you guys, like I'm talking to my girlfriends right now, okay? The way that it happened was so crazy. So obviously I knew that in the house we're in now, um, we could not have, like we could have another baby, but it just wasn't fair, it's not enough space. So when we found out that we were getting this house, um, we were like, okay, like we can do a third fourth you know whatever you want to call it me personally like I said it's my fourth and so literally you know within a month I felt weird the day before settlement and I tested all day long you guys I'm a test freak I tested all day long because I just felt something was weird and then negatives all day long and then settlement day comes and I was like, okay, it's gonna be negative, but I'll just test just to test. And we were getting ready for settlement. I was getting dressed. I for had forgotten about the test. Mark had off work. And like, as I was getting ready, I was like, oh crap, I didn't check. And I looked at it and I was like, holy crap what is going on like it literally was negative yesterday and then the very next day it was to me I could see it clear as day but of course my husband was like I don't see it and I'm like look I'm telling you so I took a digital and a digital popped up which is also super weird because generally digitals take a little bit of time to show up but no it said pregnant right away and then I found out my due date and I have C-sections so I always go the week before and what do you know <laughs> I have chills just thinking about it the week before is literally my mom's birthday and you guys know I lost my mom when I was 22 so that would be like so special to me and my first daughter was born on my mom's mom's birthday, which is even crazier if my third baby, which we don't know what it is yet, and we'll, we will be very thankful for whatever God blesses us with. But yeah, so anyway, I am, we're just super excited. Things are crazy and how things just all fall into place is 
even more crazier so anyway you guys i know that this was like a really shocked like a huge shock to the system um but i did just want to fill you guys in i am nine weeks along and i did not want to share until like after 12 weeks however um you guys are going to notice it in my videos and I don't like to hide things. I just feel like I don't feel right. So anyway, you guys, let's jump back into this video. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think it's going to be a girl or a boy? And are you guys excited as excited as we are? The girls are so excited. Zachary is super excited. Everybody's so excited. So let's jump back into this video. Um, all these items are amazing so i love you guys thank you for being here with me on this journey thank you for supporting me with everything i do nothing and none of this would be possible without you guys and trust me i'll never forget where i came from love you guys i'm gonna go through my shed i'm gonna go through everything i have purge a bunch of stuff keep a bunch of stuff, donate, blah, 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 and just kind of refresh and reset everything in my life because it's woo cuckoo crazy right now. Anyway, um, so I picked up new stickers. These are color your own stickers. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I personally have not. So I picked these up for my daughter. She loves to draw, paint, color. She's just like me. So I picked her up a pack of those. And then my idea was to get her like a bunch of that stuff for Easter to put in her Easter basket. Um, they, my kids don't eat a ton of candy. So I try to go for stuff like toys, coloring, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, here's, I thought these were interesting. Um, foil stickers. I feel like I've seen them, but then I'm like, I don't know. So they just have like little sayings, hello, smile, thank you, what's up, stuff like that. So I picked up one of those. And then they have these new chalkboard label stickers out. Um, now they've done this before, just not in these shapes. I've never seen these shapes before, so um, you can let me know down in the comments. Have you seen these particular labels at your Dollar Tree? Or have you seen, there was like, I'm trying to think maybe six months ago when those truck stickers came out. I remember it was the summertime. And the label stickers came out at the same time. So I remember that shape, but I've never seen these two. So this kind of has like the scalloping all the way around. And they're just like different, like I said, a zillion times different shaped. So, oops, there's that set. And then here is this set. I thought they'd be perfect for pantry labels. Um, all kinds of things, labeling your kids' toys, um, stuff in your closet. There's so many different things you could use these for, um, especially if you want to use those, I forget what they're called at Dollar Tree, but they're on, almost like a wax, I guess they're the chalk writers. You can use that on that, wipe it off if you need to. Okay, next I picked up two of these. I feel like I've picked these up before. So these are not a new item. These are just those little tin trays. Picked up two of those because I have a DIY in mind. And then I also picked up two new night lights because I recently did an Instagram and a YouTube shorts showing you guys how to chalk on the night lights and I have some new transfers so I wanted to test these out this one's clear so the light shines from this white part and then this um, this is just a clear I really don't understand like what the purpose I'm oh it glows blue that's why but anyway I thought that it could be fun to put um, 
like chalk on here and see if it will like glow on the wall. So I picked up one of those and then just the regular square night light. The one that I did was the heart. So, um, and that thing glue, glowed. Oh my God, it glue. <laughs> That thing glowed so amazingly well. Sophia claimed that thing immediately because she's just like her mama and her favorite color is pink. So she claimed that thing like quicker than I could blink. But anyway, this one just is a cool white tone it says. So I'm curious to see how bright this one is in comparison to the Heart Nightlight. They all sell, they all say LED, so that's gotta count for something because LED is super bright. All right, sorry guys. When I saw this next item, I could not believe how amazing. Now, if you guys have been around on my channel for any amount of time, then you know that I like to shop at Walmart for my florals. I think they have a great selection. I think it's a great price. And now with the $1.25 increase, especially, I especially felt like Walmart was the better deal. However, when I rounded that corner today and I saw the end cap with all this new greenery in it, I couldn't believe my eyes, you guys. I mean, the quality, the size, everything about this for $1.25 is worth it. So these are new eucalyptus picks. You get about four in one pick. They're really long and realistic looking. So you can make a wreath. I mean, I'm just super, super impressed with these. I don't know if you can see how big they are, but they're really good size. And then I also picked up these olive berry branch things. I have an idea for these, a really good idea. Um, a friend made something a while back and I think I'm gonna give my hand a try at it. Is that the way you say it? I think I'm gonna try my hand at it, right? <laughs> I think I'm gonna try my hand at that project, so stay tuned for that. They had new tins and ribbon. So here is the new ribbon that I picked up. It's just baby pink and like light green buffalo check. And then I also picked up two new tins. Now I never, <laughs> I, I never end up using these. So this one says, Cottontail Farms, open daily, carrots, chocolates, eggs, and it's got this gorgeous little bunny on there with the little detail, um, the eggs, and it's just super cute. And then I also picked up, this one has a gorgeous, like peachy pink truck. It says, Little Bunny Carrot Garden, you pick fresh daily on the side of the truck with bunny garland on the wooden piece of the truck. Come on camera. All right, I'm gonna um, insert a clip. That way you guys can see this a little bit better, but it's so cute. It's got the carrots in the back. This is little bunny garland, it's so cute. Anyway, I'll pop up a clip. This next item, items, these next items, I was totally shocked to find them. I've been looking for beads at my stores forever. I found some back at Valentine's Day and that was it. So when I saw these wooden beads, I literally like ran to them. So you guys think my stores are so amazing, but I promise you, there's a lot of items that I do not see for a long time. But anyway, I picked up the kind of bubblegum pink, bubblegum yellow and white. It's got this gorgeous little chick at the end. And then for the tassel, how cute is that? They even put buffalo check ribbon in their tassel. 
like what. Okay, so I only picked up one of each. I wanted everybody to have some. And I frankly, honestly don't know what I'll do with these. But you can always paint these. Um, for $1.25, these are pretty good size beads. Um, I think it's a good deal. But look at that. It's kind of like the cotton candy theme with the sweet little bunny. And then once again with the buffalo check and jute tassel. I think they did an amazing job with the colors and just everything about it, totally gorgeous. And then the last one I picked up is supposed to be like a carrot. So it's the orange beads obviously with the carrot at the end and the green tassel. And I just think that's so cute for like a Easter tier tray or um, you know, I don't know. I think super, super cute. Moving right along. Now I found this item at like checkout. Never sleep on checkout. Hold on you guys, I have something. I forgot I got and I'm like, I want it. Okay, so this is a mini selfie stick. I'm sorry, that was so rude. I should have showed you the box and then opened it. So it's a mini selfie stick. It kind of gives you directions on the back. And then, look how cute this is. This is perfect to like keep in your purse. Look at that, for $1.25. This is one of those items that is just, it even has a shutter on it. Wow. I was expecting this thing to be like some rinky dink. <laughs> some rinky dink. Like, I literally expected it to be just this, honestly. But I am really, really impressed. It even as a little cord, if you want to hook it up to the USB. So anyway, let's see if it holds my iPhone 13 Pro Max with a case on it. No, don't even try that. All right, let's try it without the case. Just so you guys don't think I'm fibbing. I'm scared. Oh, it worked. <gasps> Whoa. I put my, my phone in the wrong way, but that's besides the point. Look at that, you guys, for $1.25. I am highly impressed with this, look. Now when I'm in Dollar Tree, I can film myself for you guys, if the staff isn't like stalking me. <laughs> anyway, $1.25, really, really, really great deal. I found that selfie stick at checkout. Um, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, the next item I picked up, green picks. So five come in the pack. Now, this, I believe, is for like gravestones and stuff. I think I mentioned before that I picked up another pack of picks that was in that section. So, for instance, my Dollar Tree, um, in like on the end of the candle section and stuff, they have this section that has like all the stuff to make like um, gravestone arrangements. So I believe that this is kind of put out with that in mind, but I don't know, I could be wrong. So it just says five green picks. They're super green and beautiful. Now, I personally bought them for like wreaths or whatever, um, but many different options for those. And I picked up one pack of those. And then I also picked up, I've never seen this before, seven pieces Simply Art Creatively Made Easy Brush Value Pack. 
and it comes with a white nylon shader, a liner, a golden nylon wash, one inch, a shader 10, round three, chip brush, one inch, foam brush, one inch. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal for $1.25. If you go to Walmart and get a pack of brushes, you're gonna pay at least three, four bucks easy. I mean, maybe not for a real small pack like this. I don't know, I don't know you guys. Is this a good deal for $1.25? I think it is because you get a nice variety, but let me know down in the comments. What was that? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The other day when I was doing a project, I had like none of these. I couldn't find any of them. And I really wanted to add them. So I picked up two packs and it is the cotton pods. Yeah, cotton pods. And they look so realistic. So realistic. So that's the front. And then this is the back of them. Okay guys, down to the last bag. Ugh. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, so this was, you know, where they keep all the yard stakes and all that good stuff. Look how cute this is. I thought that was so cute. It's like a little fake carrot, obviously, yard stake. Um, so I could picture these in your front walkway. Super fun for kids. Um, I can't wait to start decorating like outside for all the holidays and stuff for the kids. So I picked up a few of these with that in mind. Also has, I guess I should have mentioned, has the little details up here. Super, super cute. And then this stuff is kind of boring, so. Um, kind of like the food items. My kids love snacks, I love snacks, uh-oh. Oh, the last non-food item is I also found these at checkout. This is that Juncture brand, and it's two bandanas, but I thought that these would be perfect for a project. So the one is, here, let me. The one is a beautiful floral pattern, so it's perfect for um, springtime. How beautiful that is. And then the other one that came with it was just a beautiful pink bandana. So there are many, many options that you can do with these. Um, but I just picked them up because I'm a sucker for anything pink and floral. And this is exactly that. <laughs> So I picked those up because I'm a sucker, pretty much. The next item, now these are the food items. Um, oven ready lasagna. That's a good deal for $1.25. I make this um, instant pot lasagna. Oh my goodness, it's to die for. I also picked up two packs of lollipops for my girls when they're kind of being, you know, in the car and it's just been a long day and you just want to get home and you're just tired of the fighting and tired of them going on and on about nothing, you say, hey, you guys want a lollipop? Keep some quiet for a couple minutes, right? So I keep these in my car for emergency purposes. Even when I need a little snack, um, I should not be eating lollipops. But when you're out and about and you're starving and you're like, oh crap, I haven't eaten in a while, a lollipop gets a little pep in your stomach. <laughs> and then the last two items I picked up, I know, boring. Um, honey bun, tasty cake honey bun. My kids love these. And my absolute favorite, 
Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kids. They come all blue in the pack. Amazing. And Dollar Tree has a bunch of all the flavors, I think. Um, I know I have footage of it, so I'll pop it up here on the screen. And I think that's it for this haul, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, let me know down in the comments below which item was your favorite. Also, if you guys share this video out, it really helps my channel. Also, by hitting that thumbs up, that also really helps my channel. So, if you if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I post weekly content. Here lately, I've been getting several videos up per week, and I don't want you guys to miss a single moment. So, Click that red subscribe button on the way out. Tap the bell and all. That way you're notified every single time I upload. And if nobody has told you guys today, you are absolutely gorgeous. You are worthy. And I love you with all my heart and soul. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out my latest uploads that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload. Or join the DIY fam here to your right.